Welcome to Down to the River with Pastor Adam from Oglesby Union Church. Down to the River is a fast five minutes to drink in some of the living water given to us by Jesus through studying His Word, the Bible. From Oglesby Union Church, here's Pastor Adam. First off, we've reached a year of being on the radio with Down to the River on Classic Hits 103.9 WLPO. Thank you so much for listening and making this fast five minutes a part of your Sunday morning. Last week, our catechism question was, can anyone keep the law of God perfectly? And the answer was no. So we need to ask the next question. Did God create us unable to keep his law? Are we behind the eight ball before we ever get a chance? Are we just some puppets whose strings are being pulled by God? Well, those are good questions. But let's look first at the Bible answer in Romans 5.12, which says, quote, Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin, in the same way death spread to all people because all have sinned. Basically, because Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden and we are the descendants of them, then we are all born with a sin nature that leads to death. We inherited it. The scholarly answer to the question, did God create us unable to keep his law, is no, but because of the disobedience of our first parents, Adam and Eve, all of creation has fallen. We are all born in sin and guilt, corrupt in the nature and unable to keep God's law. God called his creation good and very good, but it is what happened after the creation days that set the stage for generations to come. Adam and Eve were given a beautiful garden to tend to, and also a command to not eat of the tree in the middle of the garden called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Satan steps into the picture as a serpent and challenges God's command. Satan asks Eve, did God really say you can't eat of any tree in the garden? Well, Eve clarifies which tree was forbidden, and then Satan goes directly against what God said and said, no, you will not die. In fact, God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Eve is at a critical point. Up to this point, she knows her creator God on a first name basis. Her creator God has given her and Adam great abundance in the garden. Her creator God has also given them a command to obey to develop a loyalty to him. Here comes Satan challenging and going directly against what their creator God had said, and she went with Satan's lie rather than her creator God's command. All changed at that moment. You see, we were created to glorify God, but we are now born with a nature prone to sin. We are born with a self-centered impulse. Our firstborn, Anna, was a lovely child. Very few corrections were needed, but then came Aber 18 months later. All was well until Aber got mobile and a new Anna appeared. She was in all-out mode to protect her stuff from her little brother. Why? Because she believed the lie that it is better to hoard than the command to share. And I'm happy to report that at 30 and 29, they're best of siblings to each other. But the Bible states that the first Adam failed in following God's law perfectly. But the second Adam, Jesus Christ, our Savior, succeeded in following God's law perfectly. It is because of Jesus that we can be righteous before God. We're born with a sin nature, but Jesus made it possible to have a new nature, to be born anew, and to follow after his example with giving our glory to God and not ourselves. Friend, which Adam are you following? The first or the second? Following the first leads to death, but following the second leads to eternal life. I was born this way, a sinner, but I can die because of Jesus' death on the cross as a saved soul. Follow Jesus today. Sunday mornings start at Oglesby Union Church at 9 a.m. with our Sunday school for all ages. Come and join a class and learn more about the Bible. Our morning worship service is at 1015 a.m., which includes great singing and another message from God's Word, the Bible. We are currently going through the Gospel of Luke. I'm Pastor Adam, and I invite you to join us this morning. And as always, may you receive the blessings of God as you live your life to the glory of Him. Join Pastor Adam this morning at Oglesby Union Church. They're right next to City Hall on Walnut Street, and their Sunday morning worship service starts at 1015. Oglesby Union Church's mission is to know Jesus, grow in Him, go where He leads, and show His love. Drink more of the living water from Jesus today at Oglesby Union Church, and go down to the river again next Sunday morning at 825 on Classic Hits 1039 WLPL.